does having chronic kidney disease affect the leg healing? That's another question. Oh, so that's a, that's a really difficult one. So basically, um, you know, your body is all about having the right balance in every cell in your body. And unfortunately, if you've got chronic kidney disease, interestingly, of course, the vast majority of people with chronic kidney disease won't get any symptoms in the early stages. So chronic kidney disease is divided into stages one to five. And actually, the probably most of the patients I've got who've got chronic kidney disease have actually got normal age-related kidney decline. If, however, you've got other underlying conditions, particularly diabetes, both type one and type two, then that can both cause chronic kidney disease and can cause problems with the small blood vessels in your leg and the nerves in your leg. So that can really have a problem, that can really cause problems, but they're not, it's not necessarily one that causes the other, it's the underlying condition that is causing both. So basically, if you've got, as I say, diabetes is the big one, but kidney problems, that are circulation problems, can cause both chronic kidney disease and cause issues with leg healing. So we know, you know, we, we need to try and un, uh, control the underlying condition that might be affecting it. So if you can get your chronic kidney disease under control, great. And there are lots of new treatments available for that. There's been a huge explosion in treatments. In fact, I, I would say that the interesting is a group of drugs called the SGLT2 inhibitors. Um, and they've been described as, you know, the statins of the 21st century. Doctors are putting them on a par with penicillin and aspirin there they've been they've made dramatic improvements in our management of chronic kidney disease in particular and i think that those improvements are just going to continue we really are going to be in a position i think you know within the next few years where we can make dramatic inroads the number of people who've got chronic kidney disease you need to manage the chronic kidney disease but you also need to manage the condition which is causing it in the first place and interestingly sglt2s for instance are licensed they were developed for the treatment of type 2 diabetes but they've now been found to be so effective in managing uh, in managing chronic kidney disease that they're actually licensed some of them are now licensed not just for the treatment of people who've got type 2 diabetes but for people who haven't got diabetes who've got chronic kidney disease so we need to look at the whole patient and the whole the whole picture thank you leanne anything to add no, no, just just remember it's the body that heals these wounds. So there's no magic dressing or magic potion that we'll put on. So we just need to optimize everything we can. In terms of optimizing chronic kidney disease, your GPs and your primary care, including your pharmacists, are fantastic at doing this because many of the medication can exacerbate it. So it's just about getting that that check really of that perfect optimization of that kidney failure. And get your blood pressure controlled. Yes. 